Hello everyone and welcome to the official preview of the new 2010 Cohen V5 portable media player. This is our newest PMP on our line and it is uh, definitely unique since it supports HDMI output and is equipped with a WinCE 6.0 operating system and definitely a larger touch screen. Um, another well-rounded unit uh, to our Cohen line. And this is the box contents of the V5. Uh, when you purchase your products, it will come in this little package here in the US. And it comes with a uh, manual, the AC adapter that's compatible in the states and international waters. Um, it comes with a little hand strap here that you could attach to the player. Also, a Jet Media Center, it's Jet Audio software, a USB cable for the V5. Of course, the V5 main unit itself. This is the black V5 model. It comes in a 32 gigabyte, and also the earphones. And the one thing to also remember is that um, the V5 requires um, additional cables for TV out. And these are the AV cables here, and also an HDMI cable here for your HD playback. That's through your HD TV. So let's take a look at the physical exterior and check out what we have here. Um, originally I showed you the black uh, player right here, uh, that's 32 gig, but just for testing purposes I'll show you the white unit, uh, it's a 16 gigabyte model. Uh, like most of our PMP units, the unit has a slot that hides uh, behind the USB con uh, connection slot. If you open this up right here, this is where you connect the USB. Uh, here's the earphone jack, that's the SD slot, it supports the eight SDHC, the high capacity cards, I believe up to 32 gigabytes at the moment. Um, there's also a small little reset hole, it's hard to see right there. And also this is the charging uh, port for the AC adapter. And yep, it's pretty simple, it's like most of our other players. And let me turn it over, this is the volume buttons up and down. And you connect this hand strap right there into the little hole in the corner. And on the top of the unit, we have the power switch and also just like most of our other players the power switch is on to the left you toggle if you toggle to the right it's gonna hold so none of the functions work uh, equipped with a microphone and also the LED um, battery charging indicator is on the top left hand corner and this unit also has external sound so the speakers on the back and um, yeah if you need to listen to the uh, player without the earphones then that's the way to go and on the main screen, you'll actually see five main folders, uh, just like most of our units. Um, they're located in the center aisle, right here. And the first folder is the media folder. If you open that up, you'll see the subcategories, which will show the flash, uh, the music folder, and also the video folder. And if you move on over to the utility folder, that's where you'll get all your other functions like a calculator, the recorder, um, a unit converter, and the access to the Windows side of the operating system. There's also a world clock built in. And a quick uh, quick link to your Windows Explorer. And also we there's another icon here called Office. The Office uh, icon will show all your pictures, your documents, uh, your notepad files, and um, there's also a browser here which you could uh, move to the window side as well. And here's the games, um, pretty self-explanatory. This, this one's built in with this regular solitaire and the free cell. If you're bored, you go ahead and fiddle that. And of course, the most important is the settings features, which has the, the device settings, um, the control panel, which will take you to the window side, uh, power on and off. If you turn it to there, you could power it off or put it into sleep mode. Just that little X to get out. And every time you touch it, it's going to move. But if you want to turn that feature off, a cool thing is you hit the lock button and if you open your folders, you can actually drag these icons to anywhere to cover up these little icons that you have here or just move them all the way anywhere on the screen that you want. You can organize your files uh, for the folder so you don't have to access them all the time onto the desktop like you do here. And you can do it for each one, so it's pretty convenient. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show you some uh, probably the main features on the V5. Of course, it's mainly for video playback, which is obviously the main main function. If you go into media and then hit the videos folder, you'll see here this is the interface for the uh, media center for videos. 
You can see the playlist on the right hand side. That's the screen right there for the movie playback. You can see all your info about the aspect ratio and the 3D stereo and the playback speed. Um, the V5 is equipped with a an interface that has touch touchable icons on the left hand side and also on the right hand side. And on the right hand side I'll go ahead and hit the play button and show you a movie right here. You'll see. And it'll show as a small screen if you tap it you go back to full screen here and anytime if you want to track or anything like that just hit the screen and then your interface will show up on the left hand and right hand side as well as the, uh, the timing on the bottom so, or you could go fast forward and skip through the movies as you wish and the cool thing about the V5 is that it actually plays your HD video files, which are uh, support up to 720 to 1080p, and we can always move on to the next movie. And another good feature about the V5 is that it supports HDMI out, and uh, the, the way you do that is you could actually just plug in the HDMI accessory cable that you may have to purchase, and there's a TV out button on the left hand side. All you have to do is hit that from the video and you'll do your TV out function but obviously it's not connected so you can't see here and for TV out function with the HDMI cable it'll support up to 720p so it's not going to go up to the 1080 obviously due to the ratio aspect of the video resolution but I mean 720 is pretty good if you hook it up and to your HDTV you can actually see the video and the quality is very good and under your media folder you can actually see uh, of course for music if it's the music folder it's pretty much the same interface as the video and you can see all your music files on the right hand side under your playlist and just your basic features just go click to the next one Okay, and that's your music. Okay, now in your media folder, uh, we already looked at the music in the video. Now, we'll, we'll, there's also the flash folder here. And we'll take a look at that. I uh, just have some uh, pretty simple files loaded on here. And you just go to your file section, uh, SWF file. And it's nothing too crazy, but yeah, it's uh, activated by touch. So you can just hit the flash and play your flash games. You can load hundreds of them on here, so I mean, there's so many programs out there. You can check on the forums or um, just whatever Flash is compatible. You can take a look, put on there anything with a touch interface, and you can scroll up and down on the unit. All right, now we saw everything in the media folder, so let's move on to utility. And the utility has a main feature on the V5 that's brand new. Uh, the V5 is pretty much now equipped with Windows CE 6.0 and the device is running a Telechip's ARM processor. So as long as you have software compatible to the processor, uh, you have access to a lot of programs that can work on the V5. And from the utility menu, you could actually move on over, hit this button, it's a pretty simple click, and you're over to the Windows side. So here's the Windows operating system and I'll just go to the start menu and I'll show you control panel. So to show you the system uh, profile here. There we go with the Windows C 6.0 and the processor type here, the Telechips ARM 11. Like I said, you can do all your office functions on here. Alright, so now you saw the Windows C side, so I'll go back to the cone launcher. This is the cone interface. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, those are the main features. The V5 is equipped with the HD out and HD playback on the unit. Um, built in with Windows CE. Uh, the unit actually comes in a black model in the US and white. The black comes in 32 gigabytes and the white comes in 16 gigabytes. So it's really up to you. And re remember, you always have the, uh, the SD expansion slot, which would support up to 32 gigabytes uh, using the SDH high capacity card. So don't forget about that. And yeah, thanks for uh, taking a look at our review.